Android Canary is going to replace Google's Android Developer Preview program. And that's huge. It's a big thing, but well, let me show you. If you don't believe me. So, the big news breakout yesterday. Evolving Android's early access programs, introducing the new Canary channel. So guys, what is the Canary channel and how it's going to affect us? You know about the Android Google Developers Preview every year, same story, right? So according to Google, right, this developer preview model is kind of limited. Why? Because the developer previews were not tied into a release channel and had to be manually flashed to devices every time the cycle would restart, which would mean that you have to use Android Flash tool, which is, by the way, a very nice working tool, and you can use it directly with Google Home, but hence you need to flash manual ROMs or firmware once the cycle ends. Because previews were tied to the next designated Android release, they were only available during the earliest part of the cycle. Once a platform version reached the better stage, the preview track would end, creating a gap where the features that were promised but not yet ready for beta had no official channel for feedback so now google decided that they're going to get rid of the developer preview and replace it with the new canary channel so they're going to still keep of course the beta software which is intended for users that would like to test new features and still are willing to accept some bugs because the canary channel is meant for users many developers that are able to test android's new apis and how their apps are going to behave and how they're going to be impacted with new android functionalities but it's of course with some caveats the good news is that google promised this to be a continuous flow of features with the canary channel so far you still need to flush it for the first time using the google flush tool but then they promise a continuous rolling steam of the latest platform builds via over-the-air updates which means that you can try all the new features and plain behavior in the early stages of course without using the android flash tool just getting over-the-air updates so the canary release channel will run in parallel with the better program but a better program remains the way for you or for me to try a more polished set of likely soon to be released features but if you want to be on the cutting edge of android development right yeah you can use the canary channel so who should use the canary channel guys it's intended really mostly and mainly for developers that want to explore and test with the earliest pre-release android apis and potential behavior changes the builds from the canary channel have passed our automated tests and of course uh, yeah short a cycle with internal users but google themselves are saying that this is not intended for primary devices so if you have only one pixel they just advise you not to run canary on it the existing beta channel will remain the primary way for you or me to make sure that your or my apps are both compatible with and take advantage of upcoming platform features so right now if you want to hop on the train guys you should use the android flush tool and then once you are using android canary you can get over the air updates i was thinking to install the new android canary on my pixel 9 pro xl but since there are not really many new things besides the new hdr settings i was like okay maybe i'll remain on the android 16 qpr betas guys and i really hope that we're gonna get a qpr battery soon with the july drop and etc so guys this has been it. Yeah, Android Canary. Welcome, Android Canary. And goodbye, Android Developer Preview. Stay safe, guys. VST over and bye.